Skadoosh! Sup, noobs. Hello, 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 and welcome, everybody. Uh, today's the day. New updates out. It's dropped. Right here in the world of Rune Terra. Now, some changes came with that. Uh, quite a few changes, actually. The first and foremost, that's the most prominent, is the fact that uh, when you're playing against other people, it's split up in between Standard and Eternal. Eternal is what we've all come to know, expect, and love. And that is where any card, any champion, whatever it is, uh, that's in your collection, you can build a deck with it and play against other people. Uh, there's not a ranked on that throughout the entire year. It's actually only going to be a couple times a year that they're going to allow that to be ranked. Uh, so for the most part, if you want to play ranked, you're going to be playing Standard to climb that ladder. Now, what is Standard and why? Now, Standard is really a standard term in a lot of the other uh, TCGs or CCG worlds. And that is where they take a, um, a chunk of the pool out every rotation and then it allows them to bring in new cards. In this case, new champions, new spells, new landmarks, new units, and with new keywords and abilities. And by doing this and having this smaller card pool, um, it's more manageable to not only balance, but also allows the meta to be shaken up, be more and fresh. Now, the eight decks that they give you for free starting, I just deleted those. Um, and I kept my Garen Jar of an Elite and Life After Death. Both of these, I do need to update to bring them um, into the meta to be able to be played in standard. Uh, now, I tried making my own set jack deck with the two new champions there, and it did not go well for me through playtesting. There's some changes I need to do. So to be able to just get some games in, I, um, I found a creator, Sonny. He's a great creator uh, who has got this Samira deck uh, to pilot. I am like 0 for 5 on set jack. Sonny Samira, I'm like 1 for 6. Probably just a player issue on my end. Um, so I really need to figure out what I'm going to do, um, on that because I do want to start showing some gauntlets off, especially while the format is standard on the gauntlets. I really, um, enjoy playing these and I haven't done any on, uh, stream or whatever, VOD, what YouTube, right. Um, to be able to show this off and I really like playing these. So I want to show some daily rumbles. Uh, the next tournament that's coming out is going to be April 15th. Um, and then the top 64 players in that um, day one move on to day two to the playoffs. So you like compete in these opens and tournaments. You get points. So you can actually play in tournaments for money and move up the, uh, the, length, the ladder and all that to try to get to Worlds. Now, the exact math of all that and how all that works, I would check out on the Legends of Runeterra website, uh, Competitive 2.0. They have a great write-up over all of that. Um, also, they do have a battle pass that's out. I purchased a couple of these emotes. I probably won't finish this uh, battle pass to be completely transparent just because when the Hearthstone expansion comes out, I plan on playing a lot of Hearthstone as well. So I don't know how much in the next 41 days I'll be solely focusing on um, Legends of Runeterra only. Uh, I mean, at least up until April 11th, this will be the, the main game that I play. If pretty, basically the only game that I'll be playing. But aside from the content from both of those games, I also like cardboard TCGs. And I'm going to be getting my setup upgraded here soon. Just so you can watch me do some pack openings of um, a game that I really care about and I really like called Flesh and Blood. I think it's a tremendous game. And I think that... Uh, if you're a fan of cardboard based TCGs and you haven't tried that one, that you would really find it fun and enjoying, uh, find some enjoyment out of that. Now, that being said, some changes um, that are cool and noteworthy. Let's my daily quest try to load. Let's go home. Give me one minute. We're gonna look into these patch notes to so just kind of go over this at a high level. New mechanics up first is coin. Uh, essentially, you have different cards that allow you to generate this coin card in your hand, but they stack, meaning this one here, Nexus Strike, create a coin card in hand. Coin card is one mana, and it's a burst spell. 
um, and then it will refill how many times it's stacked. So um, this card would be one mana, refill one mana. Next to strike, for instance, say we had two turns in a row where we used this card and we generated another coin, it'd be one mana refill, uh, uh, one mana to, to play, and then refill two mana. So coin stack, playing the coin card will refill your mana depending on how many times it is stacked. Should be pretty fun mechanic to play around with. Um, that's what the one deck that I was trying to build around with is. Also, Brash is another fun one, and you can only be blocked by enemies with three or more health, which is interesting because, as you know, you're you know you have attack and health, and as you play throughout the game, some of your units as they take damage, their health lowers. So you can use different spells to lower the health of your opponents, so they're not able to, um, you know stop your attacks on the enemy nexus or whatever you have planned so that's fun uh some new path of champions updates there's a lot they're doing uh with path of champions which i'm excited about uh they are also going to have these micro adventure challenges as well they got new champions jack set samira um this is a joke ash is already in there uh the monthly challenges is going to be fun each champion can only be used three times win or lose and then you uh it's in beta version right now there's gonna be a later uh leaderboard which is gonna be really cool so uh they're expecting most players don't even make it through in the first month so that's pretty fun we got the event pass here now let's go through let's see if we got these this is what i wanted it for i guess i can actually go up a little bit because i do like some of these card backs i think this set one's pretty cool here let me just unlock my scroll wheel. Um, I like that one. This Jack one is real cool. I like that character. Um, of course, Samira being Samira. I like this one. All these coins would be fun if the good coin deck. This is going to be fun to throw out when uh, somebody does something. I'm like, but why? You know, and then this is solid. So these are going to be the uh, new ranked icons for the world ender. Um, and then as well as some new icons, some new bundles, all that fun stuff. So there's all this for right now. I will figure out some decks. I ran through and burnt everything that I basically had to, to generate these, but I want to get some gauntlet gameplay. Whether I win or lose, it doesn't matter at this point. I just want to generate something that I can show you guys and girls that like, hey, this is... This is me playing, losing, trying though, right? <laughs> uh, and then tomorrow we'll have the weekly vault opening. Have all of these chests max out to, uh, I believe that's diamond. Uh, just from here on out, every time I level up, I get a bonus champion capsule. So that's what this would be. I am not entirely sure if I will hit that point uh, by the time I go to open the weekly vault, but hey, nonetheless, I'm going to try. So. With all of that being said, there's a lot to look forward to in the coming days, weeks, and months of just content in the channel. Uh, if you could, please like this video and subscribe to the channel if you do like my content. And also comment down below uh, what you're most excited to seeing in this uh, expansion of Legends Runeterra. Uh, comment if you're Maybe if you're not an LOR fan, you're just waiting for Hearthstone, comment, say, hey, show me something in that game. Or if you also like Flesh and Blood or you collect any other kind of cards, be they football, baseball, basketball, comment down below and tell me what you have and what your favorite card to collect is, digital or cardboard. Well, see you later. And until next time, later, noobs.